today is my last full day in the Pyrenees Mountains uh, from this uh, place that I've been staying um, and unfortunately yesterday the heavens opened and there was a massive thunderstorm which was forecast so it's fine so I wasn't out however uh, it did leave the roads very wet and despite there being beautiful sunshine this morning uh, the roads are still a bit damp, so uh, I'm going to go out anyway. I'm going to take it easy and take my waterproofs with me just in case everything uh, goes wrong and the heavens open up again. But I can't not go out on my bike when I'm here. Uh, but today's going to be one for exploring rather than uh, going flat out. Uh, however, uh, I'm going to go and see uh, what I can find, maybe use a few different camera angles again. And, yeah, we'll see. So, as is often the way, I fucked up and I didn't have my microphone plugged in. So i got to start all that again. All the narration that I've just done for the last 15 minutes. This is my last day travelling out of Sabinigno into the Pyrenees Mountains before I head back to Santander tomorrow. So cruising today, I've got the chest mount on again. Just because it's nice and easy. And I also have the contour down the side, down here. Oh, this fucking backpack. Fucking stay on my shoulder. Ugh! This backpack, which I've used for years, it's just a normal backpack, but it's ideal because it had a little chest strap, and I've used it for years on my bike. However, literally, the morning of leaving for the ferry, the chest strap broke. I thought, fine, I've just gonna have to roll with it but ever since any time my hands do anything more extravagant than going from the handlebars to here if they start going outwards the straps on the rucksack fly off my arm which is not ideal on a bike anyway like I was saying I've got my contour down here which <laughs> one of my friends dubbed this view is looking back up at me as the penis shot um, which is nice but I don't know how big you think my penis is but it's not gonna look at me from down there I don't think anyway so I've got that and I've got the chest cam for this morning um, I've got the Sun I've got my bike I've got these roads and I'm just cruising. Those clouds up there don't look too pretty. They look pretty dark. It's not forecast rain today, but this is the mountains and rain could come out of nowhere. Or a graphic uplift, don't you know? I treated my bike to a little scrubber dub dub yesterday because there was a hundred and 50,000 dead flies all over the front of it. Bye bye penis cam. 
it's a little bit chilly this morning so I'm gonna go ahead and just put my heated grips on maybe I'll on setting two no I think I'll just put it on setting one just to you know warm them up a little bit don't want it too tasty nice all right heater grips on cruise control engaged what setting am I in normal let's go to soft now this tunnel is two and a half kilometers long and it gets damn cold in the middle You'll see it as I come round this corner, just extend away and it just goes on forever. It's freezing in here already. Ah! Oh, thank God I put my heated grips on. Yeah! It's like I am reborn into the sunlight. Now, let's slow down again. Gauge cruise control. And just chill. Cause we cruise it. We cruise it. We cruise it. There goes the shoulder strap again. Ah! Ow. 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 I don't know if the penis cams can see. But right up in my armpit, there's the there's a little tag off of the shoulder strap of the rucksack and in the wind it's flicking and it's flicking my nipple even through this jacket and it really hurts hey oh, wrong side of the road I gotta remember to turn I could overtake this car but I'm not going to I'm just gonna chill because it's going to allow me a moment to reflect on this bike for a minute and just to think about how I think he's slowed down for me to go past which I'm going to oblige well that moment didn't last long to reflect did it I do actually want to slow down and think about the fact that my R6 which I had from you from having no miles on the clock I put over 38,000 miles on that bike on a sports bike um, and I'm not a motorcycle racer who is A super fit and B has like professional daily massages for riding on a sports bike I had none of that so my back is I, I can definitely say feels the effects of all of that mileage over how long did I have the R6? Seven years? It was time for me to move on from having a sports bike. I got rid of the F4 for that reason really uh, and I'm so so happy with what I have here in my BMW S1000R. The trips that I had on the R6, the European trips to Switzerland, to down here in the Pyrenees, to Italy, to Germany, I I've hit most countries west of Austria. In fact I've hit every country west of Austria apart from Portugal. And every time there would be periods where I would just have to stop or slow down and because I was aching so much to the point of being in pain with my back this trip nothing I've not even thought about it it's not a full-on touring bike you're not sat up right as you would do on a GS say but it is enough of a difference from a full on sports bike that I am feeling the comfort of it and 
it's allowed me to enjoy my trip that much more. So twofold, A, it is a lot comfier, and B, it feels right to just be cruising and going this slow and appreciate the scenery and it just feels good. Whereas on the R6, all it ever wanted to do was just go fast. That bike did not do slow. Whereas this is a complete Jekyll and Hyde bike. If you want to do that, it is potentially more potent than the R6. I mean, it is a litre bike after all. And has about 30 brake horsepower more than the R6. But the R6 is out and out sports and there's no substitute for that really. Ah, oh, just the roads here are just every road, even your standard road, is just filled with these magnificent corners. suddenly being sporty when I didn't mean to be but these roads just call for it. You, in the UK you have in your local area unless you're living in the Peak District or the Yorkshire Dales or something like that which do have some nice roads. In your average local area back in the UK, you'll have one or two roads. Whoa, mate, do you want to get out of the middle of the road? You'll have one or two roads where you like to do, and you'll go and do that on your nice sunny day at the weekend when you get your bike out. Here, every road just calls for it. I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but these roads are still a little bit damp, so... Oh, but what a road! Oh, hey! I'm glad I slowed down then because of these damp roads, because that might have been closer than it needed to be. Yeah, so just taking this road easy. You can smell the dampness in the air still. But oh, if this was dry, I tell thee, what a road. I've probably said that about every road I've been on, but honestly, if you're a biker and you love corners, whether you're a tourer or a sports bike or a naked or anything, not a push bike though, they're just gay. Get yourselves an engine! Yeah, so whatever sort of motorcycle you ride, get yourself down here, because this is incredible. 